new processes, new staff, perhaps new roles or behaviour changes are required. Designing a program that addresses changes in an organisation is not only interesting and fulfilling work, it's an essential skill in today's environment. The key to any successful learning program is defining the learning outcomes that your students or staff need to achieve. Ask yourself, who is the training for? What are the expected outcomes? How will I confirm that competency has been met? To develop a quality learning outcome, consider the behaviour, the standards or benchmarks to which that behaviour is going to be measured, and the context or conditions in which the competency has to be demonstrated. For example, a quality learning outcome might be design and create a wooden chair within the guidelines set out in the manufacturing process within the work hard factory. Next, ensure that you are delivering training within the framework of your industry. For example, a driving instructor will ensure that training meets the needs for licensing within their specific state. Lastly, you need to design the structure of the learning program. The structure is usually developed within the training and assessment strategy of your registered training organisation. This is known as a TAS or TAS. This document identifies which part of the learning happens when, where, how and why. It also stipulates who is qualified to train the individuals specified within the scope of the training need. A learning program needs to meet the needs of the organisation and its learners, but it also needs to meet the compliance standards of the vocational training sector. For more information, refer to the industry regulator and your registered training organisation.